Hello lovely people and welcome to my channel. This is my first video. Yay! <laughs> so as a nice little way to kind of like introduce myself and kind of give you an idea of what this channel is about, I figured I'd do the new YouTuber tag because people do that. <laughs> um, I had meant to record this video like weeks ago at this point, but as soon as I got everything set up finally, like I got my new microphone, I got all the stuff ready for my computer, I then lost my voice for a week. <laughs> so finally, here I am. So without further wasting your time, let's get this started. Question number one, what is your name? My name is Tal. So Tal Matrix, Tal. Question number two, where are you from? I am from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I have lived here for a few years, but it's basically become my home. Uh, I couldn't imagine living anywhere else at this point, except for another country. <laughs> Um, question number three, how tall are you? I am a super tall five foot two, yeah, <laughs> um, or 157 centimeters because that's what my license says. Question number four, how many siblings do you have? I have five sisters, one brother. Um, I'm only really close with two of my sisters, so I, like, while I do have a lot of siblings, I barely know them. They are kind of just, like, Facebook friends at this point. Question number five, is this your first channel? Technically, no, this is not my first channel. Um, I made a channel back around uh, the time that YouTube started, basically posting absolutely horribly shot and, like, cheesy, cheesy humor, um, cosplay skit videos with my friends and I, mostly dressed up as the Orin High School host club people. Um, as well, I did some, like, terrible animation back when I first got into video game development. Um, and then uh, a few years ago, I had a video where I mostly just kind of posted small snippets of my Twitch streams. Question number six, what is this channel about? So this channel is basically going to be uh, videos uh, of me helping people uh, kind of set up and manage their um, online maker businesses, as well as I'm going to be posting a lot of uh, sex positive, like sex, sex educational videos, maybe some toy reviews, uh, because I have, I used to work in a, t a sex toy store for years, and I love to teach people about sex and sexuality. Um, so if you have any questions, totally leave them down in the comments below. I would love to answer those questions for you in a video. Also, if you are someone who is trying to get a business going on Etsy, please let me know in the comment section below and please also consider subscribing because then you'll be getting some information on how to set that up and how to actually get it running to a point where you can take it as a full-time career. Question number eight, where do you see yourself in your YouTube channel in five years? Uh, five years is a long time, so hopefully I will be still working on my own business. Hopefully I'll have expanded uh, into wholesaling to other countries and not just Canada. Um, so hopefully I'll be doing this full time still, like I am right now. Uh, other than that, I'm guessing I'm ho I I want to still be living with my partner and uh, living in this and being part of this amazing sex positive community that Toronto has to offer. Um, for the YouTube channel, I really hope I'm still doing this. I'm hoping I'm still helping people uh, and have a ton of videos up for everyone's enjoyment. Question number nine, what inspired you to start making videos? So for me, I go to a lot of uh, events where I'm selling with other makers and a lot of, a lot of them have been like, oh, I, I use Etsy, but I, I don't really sell that much on it. So how do I go about doing that? Uh, and I've always been like, oh, I'd love to help you. But like a lot of them, they have ridiculous schedules. So for me to like actually meet up with them and sit down with them and go over everything, would take far too much time that they don't have. Uh, so I figured making videos for them would be a lot easier. Also, I just, I really wanted to get into doing sex educational videos because I am someone who loves talking about sexuality and sex toys and all that good stuff. So I figured if I do videos, I have the chance to possibly uh, meet others like me. Uh, question number 10, who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Uh, so for me, my favorite, some of my favorite YouTubers would be Rhett and Link. Um, I especially love like, all their uh, will it taco things, because who doesn't love people torturing themselves eating disgusting things? Uh, I also really love creepy horror stories. So uh, Corpse Husband and Lazy Masquerade are two of my favorite uh, people who do those creepy stories. Um, 
other than that, uh, I love watching a lot of newer or smaller channels. So I spend a lot of time on Channel Crawler looking up like people who have like less than like 2,000 subscribers or even like less than 10,000 subscribers kind of uh, finding people who I normally wouldn't be able to find due to the search algorithm, people who haven't quite learned how to do it. So watching people who potentially could be amazing. Um, if you do have a small channel that you are just starting or you have been working on for a while but are still like trying to figure out how to grow, I would love to watch your videos and help support each other. Question number 11, what does your channel username mean? Uh, so my channel username is Talimatrix. About a year ago I really needed a better name for my Instagram and it ended up being Talimatrix because I wanted something that was kind of sex positive, uh, kind of used my name, um, and also random geeky thing. I really love uh, Video Game High School and one of the characters' names is Jenny Matrix, so Talimatrix kind of made me think of Jenny Matrix. <laughs> and Talimatrix Dominatrix, because I'm so totally dominant. Question number 14, what are your goals when it comes to YouTube? Uh, so my goals when it comes to YouTube, basically to be able to help people. I want to be able to make uh, friends of the YouTube community, um, possibly get the chance to work with other amazing YouTubers. Uh, I would love to be able to collaborate with people. Any advice for new YouTubers? I'm a new YouTuber, so my advice is basically what I've learned from watching hours and hours and hours of uh, how to do YouTube videos. <laughs> so. For me, I would probably say work on your audio, qual audio quality because if your mic is completely muffled, I'm not going to listen. I'm going to turn it off probably within the first like 30 seconds because I can't even listen to what you're saying if I'm here. Or like, no one likes that. Or no one likes this. <laughs> Or like jumping around on your chair, like if you're someone who has to move, stand up and record. I kind of have to move, um, I kind of have to move all the time. So I do understand sometimes people will probably be like, can you sit, can you sit still? Like, stop. So sorry. Unfortunately for me, I'm kind of stuck uh, filming in this exact spot because the light, the window, my computer. <laughs> um, also, other f other tips I would give, um, spend the time researching beforehand. Uh, you don't have to spend probably as amount, the amount of hours I spend looking up stuff on YouTube for how to make videos, but at least do some research first, like learn about channel art, um, learn about how to edit photo, uh, how to edit videos, how to set it up in a way that's going to make you look a bit more professional right off the bat rather than starting out completely amateur, completely like, I have zero idea about technology. <laughs> um, that would probably, that would really help in the beginning. So thank you so much for watching my first YouTube video. Um, if you like what you saw uh, and are interested at all in watching any of my educational videos or on sexuality or on uh, running your own business, or if you just kind of find me cool, you know, <laughs> uh, please drop a like and a comment and subscribe.